first thing you're going to want to do is take your instructions and included is a labeling sheet about how to label your items and the labels. Alright, so we're going to break up our responsibilities here. Thank you. Yep. For example, here's the Ethernet cord. You're going to want to put a label on there that says Ethernet. Thank you, Laura. Let's go ahead and get everything connected here. So if we go to the first page of the instructions, uh, we will be doing the connecting the desktop uh, portion first. Here you have a D600 desktop mini. And as far as getting it connected, you want to look at the back side. That's where all the connections are going to go. We have the desktop power supply. You can just uh, take the Velcro strap off if it's connected there. Three prong to an AC outlet. And then this little barrel connector into the corner here. And it should just uh, fit very snugly right on in there. Uh, you also want to get your mouse and keyboard connected, especially before you turn it on. Uh, if you look very closely, there's a little gray label right here indicating uh, mouse and keyboard ports, but to be honest, it can go into any one, it's okay. Uh, so we'll get the mouse in there, thank you, and keyboard right above it, right there. Uh, you also want to get your Ethernet cable connected, which goes right between the power cord and the USB cords with a little uh, clip portion facing downward. And then of course, you want to make sure you get the other end connected to your home router. Here we have a TP-Link router. You may have a different type. Just be sure you have an available Ethernet port on the back. Uh, if you don't, see if there's a device you can disconnect. Otherwise, you may not be working from home. So we'll get this plugged in. This uh, blue port would typically go to your modem or other internet source. So any of the four open yellow ports is what you're looking for. So we got the peripheral connections here, but we do want to get the monitor connected. And we have a VGA cable included, which goes into this uh, VGA port on the back. You don't have to screw it down, but it definitely makes the connection a little bit more clear for you. So that completes the setup of the desktop portion of things. We're going to go ahead and get the monitor up and into play and get this connected to you. Thank you. It's going to be a little cumbersome, so just bear with it. Uh, the monitor is typically tilt, depending on which one you have, and you can see on the side here, we have the VGA port on top, uh, and then the power port down below. So just like with the desktop, you don't have to screw it in, but it helps keep the video connection stable. And as for power, just take uh, the one end here and plug it in directly there. And that's that.